What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you with a little bit of a video that might surprise some of you. I want to propose the idea that perhaps Kenny was the secret villain of Love is Blind and I'm about to tell you why. For starters, we learned at the reunion uh, special that Kenny and Kelly both actually agreed to saying no at the altar. And now in knowing that, doesn't it make you look at him a little bit differently, wondering why he set Kelly up to be the victim, uh, not the victim, the villain who dashed his heart and embarrassed him in front of his family and friends? Like he stood up there at the altar, flushed cheeks like, oh, like this is embarrassing for everyone, like I'm so sorry. Meanwhile, he was in on the whole entire thing. And it wasn't only in front of family and friends that he did that playing victim, he did it at the reunion when Nick and Vanessa asked him how he reacted to Kelly saying no instead of being like Damien who claimed that he had an agreement with Giannina going in that he was going to say no Kenny just said that it was embarrassing and uh, hard for him to be up there getting rejected in public or whatever and Kelly had to set the record straight and say no boo we agreed well before reaching the altar that we were both going to say no and the T on top of that is not only did they both agree to say no at the altar but apparently they agreed to continue dating afterwards only for Kenny to end up ghosting Kelly, which I'm gonna cover really shortly. But before I even continue on to that, I have to mention this before I forget, but Ke Kenny also on the show pretended that he was hooking up with, sleeping with Kelly, to impress the other guys knowing damn well he wasn't because it wasn't actually Kelly who was trying to keep that off the table, it was Kenny. And uh, it seemed to have been mainly for religious reasons. So, you know, all the more reason to side eye him for pretending to have been sleeping with her this entire time. When he was like, oh, let's just say I had a hard time running this morning or whatever. Like maybe he didn't blatantly say that he was sleeping with Kelly, but he was hoping that it was enough of an innuendo that everybody would come to that conclusion. And now Naturally, all the guys did come to that conclusion. So when admitting to already knowing that Kelly was gonna say no, Kenny said this in an interview with People Magazine and I quote, we were both adamant about how we were not going to get married and really the engagement was just to extend the experiment and we were both committed to that. Kelly added on to that to say, I thought that we were going to continue dating because that was communicated between us. And then it was our last filming day and he had this conversation with me like, hey, I think I'm not emotionally available right now. I need to take some time apart from you. I felt very rejected like that wasn't the plan. What the heck? A week or two later we hadn't talked. At this point she was actually crying in the interview which you know makes me all the more emotional for her. She said I just talked to him for six and a half weeks straight and then I didn't talk to him so it was like I lost someone and it was hard. Kenny claimed that it was just because he needed to focus on himself and how they had been adamant about not getting married and he also admits right here and I quote will pursue dating afterwards. So why did he suddenly flip the script on Kelly without even notifying her about the change of plans? Like you guys, you know, when you're in a relationship with someone and you're talking to them every day, like morning, noon, and night, and all of a sudden they just ghost you and you were engaged on top of that and you both agreed to not get married but to continue seeing each other, that is so freaking hurtful. And a lot of people have the excuse of, oh, like maybe he saw how she treated, um, talked about not being attracted to him on the show. No, the show hadn't even aired at this point. Like he switched up on her literally the day that they stopped filming. And that to me says quite a lot about Kenny's character. Poor Kelly was being really vulnerable in this interview when she talked about how she sent him a handwritten letter. And guess what Kenny sent her in return after she spilled her heart out to her ex-fiance about how she wanted to make things work and move forward in their relationship. He sent her nothing, not even an acknowledgement of it, a thank you, nothing. Instead, she found out through the grapevine that he started dating someone else after telling her that he wasn't emotionally ready and just wanted to continue focusing on, on himself. Like, guys, what the F? Like, apparently she even sent him a second letter before finding out that he had like, moved on to someone else, but I'm just kind of disappointed to see him play like, um, you know, this Joel Osteen kind of character, like pure and all this, who was blindsided, victimized by this like evil woman at the altar, only to behind the scenes be lying to her, leading her on, ghosting her, sorry, and just behaving like this. It's 
cruel in my opinion it truly is cruel to treat someone that you had a very deep intimate relationship with this way when it comes to what was in the letter kelly says that she doesn't exactly remember what she wrote but that she did apologize for her part in the demise of their relationship and she feels like now looking back it might have been too much to send a letter but um, she says that she needed to do that to express how she felt at the time and she's very emotional about it all because it feels like you know someone close to you died when something like this happens which i'm sure we all can kind of relate to right in one way or another what she's saying is the 100 percent truth and yeah just like seeing the reunion episode and like hearing them both talk about the demise of their relationship in their separate interviews I can't help but change my stance from team Kenny to team Kelly and I know quite a few of you guys are gonna be upset about that in the comment section just based off what was uh, aired on the television show but remember television shows are edited to fit a specific narrative so when two people uh, who were involved in the relationship tell you something that directly contradicts what you were seeing on television it's a little bit strange to keep running with a television narrative in order to defend your stance against one over the other right like they're telling you in real life we both agreed to saying no Kenny was playing victim on television so why would you be in my comment section telling me Kelly was evil for saying no to Kenny at the altar if Kenny is corroborating that story it doesn't make any kind of sense and then if they're both telling you hey we both agreed that although we were saying no at the altar we wanted to continue dating as boyfriend and girlfriend getting to know each other to build our relationship and seeing where it goes only for Kenny to straight up ghost Kelly with no freaking explanation. Actually, he did, I'll give him this, he said that he wasn't ready. But meanwhile, a couple weeks later, a couple months later, he pops up with a new serious girlfriend. That would devastate anybody, you guys, anybody. Is there something I missed? Am I going too hard against Kenny? Or did hearing all of this change your own mind about him and Kelly? Make sure to leave all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.